Right then guys, we're back at Feltham and the last time I come here this court was demolished. Seems to be they fixed it now. So I don't know if that's houses now or what. Looks like a housing estate. Right guys, we're going straight ahead to the police station. Let's see if they threaten me with hostile reconnaissance this time. So I literally yep, just done the prison. A couple of revisits in one day. Kind of makes sense, guys, doesn't it? And yeah, last time I come here, they threatened me with hostile reconnaissance. So let's see how they treat me today. I think there's a van up there. All them driver schemes. I think one of the gentlemen's just come out. So it might be a good time to catch them on camera. Or I think maybe an officer is getting dropped off for the day. So we'll have a look, guys, as we always do. Yeah, like I said, guys, last time I come here, they actually threatened me with hostile reconnaissance for a illegal activity. So we'll see how they treat us today. Maybe a shift change, something like that. Yeah, it's under the Met here, guys. I will put the link to me other times in the comments in the description and we'll go from there. They're just the typical right van. A couple of officers coming in guys. Uh, the front counter here I think is still shut as well. From the last time I come here it was shut. So let's see if they've made any improvements to Felton from the last time we come here. Nope. Nope. No improvements at all, guys. Palming you off to Hounslow. So they haven't fixed the front counter. The magistrate court that was uh, getting demolished has now turned into a housing estate. And the front counter here at Felton is no different. Some sort of shift change and some sort of army people with it, guys. So let's have a little look here. And uh, I swear to God, it was the same van as last time I was here. Some sort of horse transport van, yeah. Yeah, it's boiling hot today as well, guys. Gypsy's been on a proper mission. But we thought we'd come see our fountain again, just to see if they threatened Gypsy this time with. Star reconnaissance, which is obviously a disgrace. So they do have an open counter here, so there is actually public access. As we can see, guys, there is actually no clear gate there. So that's how that goes. Someone's got some music playing. So I can't really stick around for too long with the copyright. Yeah, so they've got no front counter. But it is a very, very busy station, as you see when I first pull up, how busy it was. So, I, Fountain's always been the same. It's active, but not good enough for the public. And I've spoken to a few people, uh, I actually spoke to a gentleman just before this video, uh, about Fountain Police, and he didn't have uh, good views about him either. Because obviously I'm here coming on the response to when I was getting threatened with hostile reconnaissance for simply doing what I've just done, which is uh, stepping over this line. So which proves is, it's not law, it's just how they feel on the day and what tyrants are there to order you around. As it may have a sign here, there is no restricted access. So their issue is, if you want it restricted, you've got to shut it. And that's how that goes, guys. And this is their some foot gate here at Fountain. It's not really a gate. It's kind of like a bit of stick planted. You all right? Hiya. So yeah, guys, it's a bit manky here as well, to be fair. Look how they're looking after the, the, the thing where they put the numbers in. So there's a gentleman coming out here, probably going to grasp me up. Uh, I don't have a letterbox here as well. How random. 
Yeah, so Phantom is manky, guys. This police station is very manky. The yellow phone is in use, uh, but the front counter is not open for public, which is a shame. Because they're palming you off to Hounslow, which is, I think, three and a half miles away. So, unless you're driving, you're going to have that issue, aren't you? What I always talk about. And this is where the massive divide continues because we understand, well, we, we don't really understand with the budget cuts, but you should be having um, your local police stations with a front counter. I mean, they got the yellow phone, but who'd really want to talk about their crime outside when they could go inside? It may feel more safer. So that's, that's my argument all the time of it. And if we can get some form of interaction, I'd like to give them this badge today. Like I offered, uh, try to give them at stains. And I actually deleted that video because I need to cut it down. So you might see that guys, a pattern of mine. A few might be deleted, but simply because I didn't edit them. And now I'm starting to edit them more because we're nearly on 16,000. So I think you guys deserve um, a proper video for a change. Not just gypsy putting them all out as soon as I get them. I do think I should try and put some effort in with the editing and stuff. And that's what I'm doing more now. Simply because of how many people are watching. And uh, I think people deserve a bit of quality instead of just kind of all lumped together sort of thing. So slam a gator. Police officer just come out of here. They can't do nothing, guys. With public access becomes the order type and that's what we need to do guys we need to challenge them not be scared don't worry they do work for us didn't they guys do they or not well, we hope they do so if we want to come here and be here all day if i'm going to stand here for three hours now i can it's my choice i'm not gonna but if i want to i will so last time regarding this video what i'm going to demonstrate to you now I was stood there and I got threatened with hostile reconnaissance. Now I did move over there, but I'm not gonna this time. I'll tell you why I did move that time. It's because it was the first time I ever got threatened with hostile reconnaissance. Now I've had it so many times, I've kind of trial and errored it in a sense. So like um, a lot of you new people coming on, new auditors and stuff, you know, my advice would be just keep going, you know, trial and error. I don't know everything, still learning to this day. But it's, that's why it's always worth revisiting a place. Um, just to stand strong on the next video. Because you may fail on the first one. Like I probably failed and give in. But this time we're certainly not gonna. And we're gonna challenge them properly, guys. And what we're gonna try and do is give that badge away as well. Because I don't really want it. So we've got another gentleman here crossing. So this is two people now that have said that I'm stood here. And we're gonna see what happens. If they're gonna get the police on me, even though it is the police. So the people grasping on me are police, but they're probably not. Because they think they're not uniformed or whatever. And that will be that. So you've got one, one right van there. You've got two in the front. And then you've got obviously this unmarked people. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doing a bit of filming. You're a police officer yourself. I've got a gift for you. Um, I know you're not in uniform. Do you know you guys wear the thin blue line flag? Uh, some do. I am sorry. I've just finished shift. I'm shattered. I'm That's fine. Do, do you not wear the badge yourself then? That's all right. We'll, we'll wait around. So just the officer age. He's knackered, he reckons. So they finished shift. Uh, shift change then. So we'll wait around. Hmm, didn't really want to talk. So guys, I think this is probably the peak time here at Fountain. What we're going to do is give away this badge. I don't really want it, to be fair. Like I said guys, it's, it's the official flag, so... And that's what you should be wearing. You shouldn't have to wear the thin blue line uh, charity thing when you can wear the official badge. I've got a gift for you if you're an officer. Are you a police officer? No. Oh, right. 
Just a member of public. Uh, no, not that either. Police staff? Yeah. All oh, right. Just the police staff. So guys, I'm literally going to keep, I'm going to wait here and try and give away this badge literally today. Because I've had enough of it and I think it should be given away because it's an official badge. Ah, excuse me, are you a police officer? Ah, you're ignorant. Right. You know, I won't have manners next time. That's fine. You know when you, you were brought up from your family, they not teach you manners? Very disrespectful. And I hope you're not a police officer because you will be getting sued. Can you identify yourself, please? Ha. Ignorant says it is, guys. That's the Met Police. Another ignorant one, which is what we don't want to see. We want to see some good ones. Ah, excuse me, miss, are you a police officer? <laughs> or pli I hope you're a police officer. I know you may have finished shift or whatever. Oh, that, oh I'm, I'm simply at a uh, police back gate. I'm hoping police officers will come out. Are you one? Why? Who, who are you, first of all? Right, my name you? is Nobody. Nobody. Um, Hello, Mr. Nobody. How are you? I am fine, thank you. I do have a question if you are a police officer. If you're not, then... Oh, that's what, so I'll take it you are, miss. I, I will wait patiently for you here, miss. <laughs> so actually a very smiley police officer there. Listen, guys, I hope she comes back because I do want to get her to identify. Listen, we're in a bit of a rush here. There's a lot coming through. Um, I do, all I want to simply do, I'm just challenging what happened last time and giving away this badge. That's it, guys. So I'm actually coming to a police station with a plan, which I never normally do. Normally, I just turn up and simply film. But um, I'm trying to change it slightly this year to actually having a proper reason. Like, I know we, we have a reason anyway, but I'm saying like challenging the badge, challenging the, the threat of hostile reconnaissance and stuff like this. So that's what I'm going to do this time uh, as the right man approaches. And it will be good to actually get rid of this badge because it's annoying and it should be it should be warm uh, and, that, and that's how it is with that so that lady was actually quite friendly which is nice to see but as usual guys the met police officers cars are rotten um maybe they're coming in here getting a wash but as the right van came in i will stand here because there is public access and they may have a moan about that yeah because the last time when I actually got threatened with a hostile reconnaissance, it was from a riot van, um, which I will link in the description, guys. I don't want to keep talking about it. It will be in the description or in the comment section pinned. And do watch them. You know when I say about this? Do actually watch them back, because it's always good to look back. Ah, for fantastic. So you are a police officer. I'm going to get a little bit of room, because I give it, I want to get the camera on this. I really wouldn't want that. <laughs> That's fine, miss, but unfortunately, I'm here covering a story. And okay, a... what's the story, my lovely? Right. Are you a police officer? Um, I would like to know who I'm talking to first. Me too, because obviously if you're a police officer, I know I've approached you, but you have a policy. I don't want to get run over. Um, exactly, but... So I if you're a police officer... you're outside a police station... Yes. I think we need to establish who you are, my I'm lovely. going to get a little bit of space, miss. Okay. Obviously, um, that's fine, but firstly, before you do all that, can you identify yourself? Part of your policy. I am a police officer, yes. PC? Caroline, my staff. And your badge number? Uh, 1407. Fantastic. Now, the only question I've got, Go you're for very it. polite and very happy, which is lovely to see. The Met Police are under a lot of pressure, obviously. They definitely are. So you guys obviously got to pull it up and try and um, work with the public again, in a sense. You wear a badge, but well, you're not wearing it now. I'm not, no. You wear a thin blue line badge. Um, not uh, as part of uniform. Exactly. This is the okay. question. That's fantastic. Cool. You said so. You have a normal badge, which is the British flag, right? Mm, the normal um, Union Jack. No, not as part of uniform. We have the Met Police crest, not a Union flag. And your right. officers do wear it. Yes. But that isn't um, so, standard uniform. So part of standard uniform for the Met specifically yes. is that certain one, yeah? Is a crest, not a, crest. a Union flag. Do you agree with that? Um, well, we are part of the Met Police. We are culturally diverse, so we don't just represent You're Great big. Britain. We have officers from lots of different nationalities. Right. Um, so you're trying so to integrate them in? It's not integrate them in. They, they are part of our service. Of course. I mean, if you live in the UK or you're serving and working in the UK, you're the same as me who live here, yeah? Absolutely. So the only issue I have is I have the real badge. 
right? Would you be willing to take this as a gift? What, your badge? The badge I'm going to offer. Okay. I would like to see it first before right. I, I say I will cut this. I will cut her here with this very friendly police officer. I'm going to show her the badge and I'm going to give you it, miss, on camera. Oh, it's the union, union flag. This is but your gift from me. I would accept it yes. as a police officer as a gift, yes. but I wouldn't accept it to where it's part of my uniform. But you'd Does still, that make sense? I get that, but because if you... Because you're giving it to me as a gift, I need your details to declare it that I'm right. receiving a gift from a member of the public <laughs> so I can receive it properly. As I said to you earlier, I'm nobody. Um, I'm not willing to <laughs> give any. Okay. <laughs> I don't well, have a policy. I, I wouldn't be able to because I'd have to declare it that I received a gift from a member of the public and I'd have to declare your details. The only issue with that is, Miss, I'll try to stay independent and I don't want... I, I totally understand. But in that case, I would have to stay independent. But what details uh, would I have to give them? Yeah, yeah. I'm good My back. name. I don't oh, want to give all name, that stuff. Your name, address. Like I said, you'll track me, miss. <laughs> and then you'll find out where this video will be and then you'll shut it down. This is the issue. This is the issue. But, but I think it's a bit of give and take, isn't it? I can get that. Um, is it your policy then that if someone gives you a gift that you have to... Give a gift. Any gift that we're given... Under we five to, pounds or whatever. We have to declare it. It has to be recorded on what we've gained. Right. Because otherwise it could be seen that we're taking bribes or anything. I get that, I get that. So absolutely it would have to be recorded. Yes, I think you're, you're, you're representing the Met Police really well. I try this often. I've got further with you than anyone. Um, how long have you been in the force? Too long. <laughs> so 10, 20 years? Higher. 30? So you Just over 30. So you're PC? Yeah. And not constable? Or... I'm a constable, yeah. So you're constable, fantastic. PC is constable. PC constable, constable right. And, and do you want to move down the packing order a bit more or are you happy where you are? <laughs> um, I'm happy where I am, thank you. Have you ever seen any corruption, Miss? <laughs> corruption? Because it I does th happen, you know. I think, honestly, you get that in any walk of life, not just the police. I've seen it elsewhere. I, honestly, I personally, I haven't seen it within this organisation, but I have seen it within other organisations. That's brilliant. Thank you for saying that. So how long have you been under the Met, per se? 32 years. Right, so you said other organisations. Uh -huh. So we're we talking then a different police force? Or? Oh, I'm talking in my personal life. So a separate job. So you, you're saying that from your experience, a long experience, 32 years, that you've never seen anything? Uh, not personally within the police, I have to right. say. I think um, if anything is identified, it's very quickly dealt with. So have you ever heard whispers or um, from other colleagues that they've had to do that, they've had to call it in. Have you ever heard of around uh, that? Yeah, we, it's publicised so that people know that they can take those cases forward and it will be dealt with. And not worry course. about it. Uh, absolutely, I'm not worried about it, so it is there. Because you've obviously a long time in the force, uh, a very pressured job. I mean, it, am I right in saying there's 30 odd thousand in the Met now? So you're a massive. I, I couldn't tell you the exact yeah, number. I think it's around that. And I'm, for, I'm going to have to because I've got people waiting for me yeah. it's Miss been I nice to talk to you Mr Nobody can I ask you one more thing because you're very good and I think you represented the Met Police very well um, I can detect like a accent I don't want to say a Pacific <laughs> one yes there is is it Irish <laughs> no I got it wrong and I have a lovely day have a lovely day you too thank you that's, that's yeah. very thank you and you Bye. guys I'm, uh, I'm pretty taken aback by this PC has represented the Met Police fantastically guys um, I'll try to give the badge away. Um, she said she could accept it as a gift, but if I give my details, and that kind of contradicts what we're doing. But I do believe how she has just come out there is fantastic. She said she would come back and talk to me, and she did. I'm going to pass it here at Fountain, guys. Um, I, I will give it a pass. Um, the other police staff and all these people and that one ignorant one, it's the usual. It's kind of a 50-50 thing. I mean... It's nice to see a good fashion, 32 years in the service police officer, willing to stand there, smiley. I know she had her glasses on, and a few of you may say, oh, she should have took her glasses off. <clears throat> yes, she may have hinted at details, which she would have never have got. She tried it in two separate uh, ways, which is funny. But guys, I, I brought the badge story forward. I challenged the hostile reconnaissance, which Gypsy got threatened with last time. And I'm going to pass it here at Farm. So we're going to move on, guys, to the next location, which is more than likely going to be HMP Bronzefield. And I'll catch you in the next one. Share, like, comment, subscribe. 65 subscribers away from 16,000. Please do subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this one. Catch you in the next one.